Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Precious and this is my channel. And um, yeah, anyways, so um, I think yesterday I put up a, um, a questionnaire telling you guys to um, ask me questions or throw me any assumptions you guys have had about me. Um, just by like my Instagram and what I post and all of that because I recently um, a lot of people have just been assuming a lot of shit about me and I want to set things clear just kidding but I just I just want I just thought it would be fun to um, to hear to hear these assumptions about me and answer them and see what I have to say about them as well and um, yeah so I did get a lot, thankfully, but I only choose 10 because I don't want this to be a long video. So, so you guys don't get bored. So I'm going to keep it fast and short for you guys. And yeah, stay tuned. Hmm. Alright, so here we go. question is, what does your husband think about what you do? So first of all, I don't know what you mean about what I do, but I'm pretty sure you're talking about my Instagram pictures and just modeling and photo shoots and bartending because that's pretty much all I've talked about. So um, let me start by saying me and my husband have a very um, trustful relationship. I feel like I could trust him 100% and he could trust me 100% because we tell each other everything and on top of that, the reason why he trusts this man, he doesn't really care about what I post, is because, like, I'm always home. So, like, and I love photography, I love modeling, I love all of that. So, I feel like it's not a big deal for him because at the end of the day, I'm just home taking pictures. And yeah, like, I get paid for it sometimes. And I mean, why would he get mad? Now, I remember when I was bartending. I remember when I was bartending, a lot of people were um, talking about how does my husband let me work at a place like that if I'm already married and we don't need money and you know, like whatever they want to say. And um, first of all, when I started working, I started working because I wanted to help my husband put a down payment for the house we just bought. And when you buy a house, you need to, sometimes you need to buy appliances, you need to buy furniture and stuff like that. So I really wanted to start working to put a down payment for a house. And I also wanted to get my boobs done. So I started working just for that. And um, he agreed to it because I was working from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So he didn't really care because when it was daytime and two, I only worked for like four hours three times a week so it wasn't even that much and I wouldn't even work weekends so it was like practically like if I was staying home but um, working I don't know it didn't change anything in our in our um, in our relationship it didn't make me not be with him or my daughter as much it literally didn't change anything if anything it just changed our bank account <laughs> Uh, one thing I do have to say is he he doesn't like photo shoots as much just because I do wear like crazy stuff all the time even for like family events or when I go out with my friends I'm always the one that wears like weird stuff even when I'm with him like I always wear weird stuff or when I go alone to the store and um, he doesn't care about that but once I do photo shoots he does he does kind of get mad because some of these guys I like to help them, how do you call it? I like to help them create their portfolio and stuff like that. And I also love like photo shoots and stuff like that. So like why not? But I know in his head, he, knows, he thinks that like these photographers are thirsty. And honestly, um, I've, I've gone with some photographers and they have been pretty thirsty. So I really stopped doing a lot of photo shoots just because um, a lot of guys are thirsty. Like I feel like I could take better selfies with my phone than with those guys with the camera. Because honestly, I feel like some guys are actually just in it to take pictures of girls naked. And I've also heard crazy stories about the photographers wanting to touch girls and stuff like that here in El Paso. So I was like, yeah, fuck that. I only work with specific photographers that I really love and I can trust and that I've known. And um, yeah, 
second question <clears throat> was if I'm in an open relationship. So I'm pretty sure this question is coming from my last question because I do motto, bartending, whatever. And I also don't post my husband. So I'm pretty sure people think we're in an open relationship or something like that, but we are not. We don't believe in that and that shit ain't fine here. And um, yeah, we're not in an open relationship. We will never be in an open relationship. And um, yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, regret getting married again. So for those who do know or don't know, I got married when I turned 16. I got married super young. I had already had my daughter. I got married like three months after having her. But to be honest, I love being married. I love that, um, I don't know, I just really love being married. I don't think I've ever regret getting married. I think it's probably one of the greatest things that has happened to me. And I think it changed my life so much. Um, I love my husband. I love my relationship. I love what we have accomplished. And to be honest, I don't regret anything about getting married. Um, what have what I have waited? Um, I probably would have, just because I won't. My husband and I never got the chance to actually have a wedding. Or when we got married, none of our family came to see us get married in court. Or he didn't even get to propose to me because he had to leave to the army because we were financially struggling with our daughter so he had to leave and we never got to like experience none of that so i would have waited to get married but um my husband says that we we're, <laughs> my husband says we'll still have a wedding but i'm not even i, I don't know i don't even think i want to i mean i do want a wedding but not something that big because i'd rather go um to a vacation somewhere really nice, somewhere where you could only go like once in a lifetime. My next question is, why don't I post my husband? Listen, to be honest with you guys, he doesn't like me post. He doesn't like taking pictures, even if it's not even for Instagram. He's just like, he doesn't like taking pictures. It takes like, I need to catch him out guard to take nice pictures of him. He just doesn't like taking pictures. I don't know why. He's weird, and I always get mad at him because. He's like really buff and I tell him to like grow his Instagram because he's very consistent with the gym too. He's more consistent than me and I started working out first, but he's way more consistent than I am. He's more dedicated. So I'm like, show off your muscles, show off your workouts, like grow your page, like get fucking sponsorings. I always tell him, but right now I don't, I don't know why he doesn't like it. And, but yeah, I respect that and I'm going to leave it at that whenever he wants to. And I'm gonna fully support him and if he ever doesn't want to then that's okay with me too but um yeah um he did he he does tell me like little like comments like if he wants to hop on like in one of my videos and honestly I think it would be cool I think it, it would be interesting because me and him have a very weird relationship um a lot of people think that we're like the opposites and we are like I'm more out not outspoken but I'm more like um, talkative than he is and he's very serious so it's like funny when like you see us together because I'm like all this like this happy person saying hi to everybody and everything and then my husband's next to me who's like 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 my bodyguard <laughs> or something but like he's really he's he's the sweetest person if he lets you in inside his life he he did it he he's really down for you once he lets you inside his life he really is he's, he's crazy he's so amazing and don't get me wrong he could be a douchebag like big time he could be a huge asshole like big time and he won't even hide it like if, if there's a girl in public just staring at staring him down like in front of me he'll be like what is this whole fucking looking at you know and um i don't know i like that <laughs> especially if it's like a girl like when like doing that when i'm next to him but if she's doing it to him when He's alone, I don't care, but like, don't do that shit in front of me. And even then, I don't have to worry because my husband will say something. And was, I got this like a lot, was, um, what are your future goals? So my future goals for right now, if they're more clear for me to see now that my daughter's going to school, um, just me waiting for her to school, me waiting for her, go to, for her to go to school was holding me back so much because I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life, I don't know, because, 
I put my daughter first before anything that I take. Like if if they ever offered me a trip somewhere, I really ask myself if it's really worth it or not because I will not leave my daughter at all for something like that. Unless it would be worth it I, and they pay me good, then I would go for a trip. But I would never leave her for something really simple. So her not going to school really holds me back for like five years now. She's barely going to school now. But now that she's back in school, I feel like I have so many things to do now and to think about. So I, if you guys didn't know, we just bought a house this year when I turned 21. And um, we bought a simple little house because I had in mind of remodeling it and renting it out or remodeling and selling it because my husband is in the army so he we move a lot so um we knew we couldn't buy a big house yet because we're gonna still keep on moving so we just bought a house so my plans are to remodel this house and sell it and or rent it and then i also want to go to barber school just because but um my next step i do want to go to barber school and i think it would be really handy because like i said we move a lot so I need a job where I could take with me anywhere. And every base has hair salons, barbershops for soldiers. And obviously my husband makes friends. So I could always bring that skill with me and cut hair anywhere and find a job anywhere. <clears throat> and on top of that, people charge $30 for haircuts now and, and plus tip. So it's like, it's, I feel like it would be easy money if you're really good at it. So that's one of my plans as well. And I'm also thinking about getting my personal training license, but it's just, I'm super indecisive about that because like I said, I move a lot and I don't know how long that license will actually be useful for or not. So I'm not sure about that yet, but for right now, my future goals are going into a barber school or, and trying to sell or rent out our house. My next question is, now these questions were honestly so fucking juicy. And I was like, no, this is too crazy. Like, I cannot answer this and stuff like that. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, this is me. Like, I'm someone that can talk about any category, any day, any time, for however long. And, yeah. So, the next question was, have you ever thought about cheating? So, obviously, I've never thought about cheating. But I have thought about divorcing. And, you know what? Like, um... I think, I'm not sure if it's normal, but I've I've told my husband many times, like, you know what, I'm tired of this, like, I'm gonna divorce you, blah, blah, blah. And I know that's, like, pretty, like, toxic and bad, but honestly, I think that's the only bad thing that I, <laughs> the only, the only toxic trait I have. Um, I feel like that's the only toxic trait I have, that I do throw that word out there, like, nothing. And I'm, and I'm sure it probably hurts my husband so much, but he knows I love his ass and I would never divorce him. I would never divorce him. I would let him divorce me and stuff like that, but I wouldn't go crazy or anything like that. I love him, but I, res I would respect his choice and um, I wouldn't go crazy. I, <laughs> I don't know. And honestly, I, I don't know if I would go crazy, but um, no, I've never thought about cheating, but I have thought about divorcing and um, it's not pretty, but I feel like everybody goes through that stuff. And it's not normal at all to say stuff like that. I feel like it's really rude and it's it's really, like, messed up. It's fucked up. And I shouldn't say that, but it's just, like, I have really, like, I, I can't control my angerness. Like, I could control, like, my... I guess I'm, I can't. Like, I'm very sentimental, so if I'm really pissed off, I'm really pissed off and I cannot hide it. If I'm really sad, I cannot hide it. If I'm bored tired mad in love like i just i cannot hide it so you're gonna know how i feel so i'm pretty sure that's why he hasn't left my ass because he knows i love him i just i need to start telling him that i want to divorce when i really don't like it's like when i say i want to divorce it's like i want you to change you know what i mean <laughs> but i wouldn't want to divorce him oh there's Unless I caught him cheating, like, in the act. Like, whatever it is, phone, person, whatever. I would divorce him. Next question is, would you make a OnlyFans with your husband? So, straight off the bat, no, no, and no. Why? Because I feel like that's a very, 
like when I have sex with my partner, with my husband, I feel like that's a very, I don't know, for me, sex means a lot, even if it's like, like fast sex or dirty sex, whatever, like any, any kind of sex, like just, I feel like it's intimate and then it should just be for, um, like you guys. Or I don't know, some people don't see it that way. And I don't, and I don't think it's like wrong either. Like if they do it, like, oh shit, like cool. But I wouldn't just because personally, like mine and his sex is just so good. Just kidding. <laughs> it's just like, I wouldn't, I, would, I wouldn't share that. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know. I just wouldn't do it at all. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even have a second to think about it because it's just like, I wouldn't. Yeah, guys, I don't think I would ever do a OnlyFans with my husband or even by myself. Well, I mean, it's because, like, OnlyFans could be many things, you know? But I guess people, like, just see it as, a like, a sex nude thing. But I know you could do anything in there. I probably would do, like, a OnlyFans, but of, like, of, like, really professional <clears throat> bikini pictures. I've really been thinking about doing that just because... I don't know. I, I've been wanting to make calendars, but all that shit's too expensive, and I don't know who would even buy one. So I'm thinking about doing OnlyFans, just with like, like literally bikini pictures, like really nice bikini pictures, nothing even like sexual. Next question is, what was the best moment of my life? <sighs> Honestly. To be honest, it's really weird, but the best moment of my life was when um, I was like five months pregnant and I was really tiny. I was probably like 70 pounds and uh, the hospital, it was me, my husband and my grandma and my mom. And I went to the hospital because I was bleeding. And when we went, <laughs> I was so tiny that when we went to the hospital, um, I had told them like, hey, like I have stomach pain. And I had told them that I was pregnant, but I guess they missed it because I didn't look pregnant, but um, I didn't look pregnant. So um, they were like, they gave me a pregnancy test and then, or like a pee cup, but I thought they were just checking my pee for something. But, but my husband was like, I think they don't know you're pregnant. And then they came in, the nurses came in and they were like, hey, so um, you're pregnant. But we already knew, like I was five months, so we were laughing, but anyway, so we went into the, into the sonogram thing and the, the, I don't know what they're called, the x-ray technician or sonogram person, she uh, she had to check my stomach to see if everything was okay. And when she was checking it, she's like, yeah, you're 20 weeks old, have they told you what you're having? And I was like, no, they haven't, I'm supposed to go next week. And me, I was impatient. Um, I was really impatient, so I was like, yes, I wanna know, I wanna know. So. It could only take two people in the room, I believe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened, but it was my mom was there with us, but I don't think she was let in. I'm not sure like why, now that I think about it. But it was my grandma and my husband. And we were all in the room. We, we were waiting for a heartbeat and the nurse couldn't find it. Like uh, she was there like looking for something for a while. So I start looking at my husband and my husband looks at me and like my eyes are watery. My grandma is like her eyes are watery too, because we're like, like, what's going on? Like did I, did, I, did I lose her? Like, what's going on? And um, and then I guess she found it. She turned on the little heartbeat thing. And she's like, um, she's like, you're having a little girl. So then like, we went from thinking that I had a miscarriage to her telling us that it was a girl. So my grandma starts yelling like she's all happy and my husband like he starts crying like tears of joy in the restroom and it was just like it was such a beautiful moment because my grandma means so much to me and the fact that she got to be there was just so amazing and my husband too and we all got to share that that moment when i found out i was having a little girl next question is how to gain self-confidence honey so honestly, I used to have the lowest self-esteem, like super low. I used to be in mental hospitals. I used to take antidepressants. I used to self-harm. I used to, I used to just do anything because I just had the lowest self-esteem ever. And um, 
I even tried to kill myself twice because of my self-esteem. I had a very hard time loving myself for so many years. And honestly, the way I found love for myself was working out. Like working out helped me so much mentally, emotionally, physically. And I will forever be grateful for stepping inside a gym because it changed my life forever. It changed my mentality. It changed like my like my emotional state. It changed like my life. It did a 360. I swear to God, I swear to you that I didn't do anything else besides work out and my whole life changed. Like everything changed. And yeah, I feel like if you really want a good self-confidence, take care of your health, take care of your body, and take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically. And I swear to you, you will have the best self-confidence you will ever have in your whole life. Or ever have had your whole life. Take care of your body. Like your body is 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 like a like it's like a big organ, you know? Like you gotta take care of your body too. If not, you're gonna feel like shit. You look like shit, you're gonna feel like shit. Got it? <laughs> Just kidding. No, but it's, it's honestly, I'm being like. The last real. question was a very cool one. Someone asked me, how do I manage taking care of the household, um, going to the gym, taking care of my husband and my daughter? So, honestly, guys, it's pretty easy. I mean, it did take me a long time to figure it out, figure out like a, like a good schedule because. You want to make time for everything like i said and it's really hard to find like the right combination the right time the right days like it's just really hard to try and balance everything and but honestly it is it's hard but it's not impossible and once you get the hang of it of i think you first have to mentally tell yourself that even though you're married and you have kids you still have to take care of yourself because you're still human and on top of that you need to take care of yourself more than your husband and your daughter because at the end of the day you're the one that's gonna take care of them if they get sick, if they go to school, if they need to go to the doctor, you're the one taking care of you're the one that's gonna take care of them. So you have to take care of yourself first, mentally, emotionally and physically, because like I said, at the end of the day, you're gonna take care of your husband and your kids if something happened to them. So you gotta be strong. <laughs> you gotta be strong and you gotta uh, be ready if something ever happened like that. So I think it's like everybody has different schedules and stuff, but once you find the right schedule for you, like the the and it's fun, and um, yeah. So like for example, when my um, husband goes to work, my daughter goes to school, she gets out at 10:45, <clears throat> and then after 10:45, I make a quick little lunch, and then I get ready. I take pictures, I make a video if I have time for it, and then um, by that time, I'm un I unfreeze some meat. So around four or five. I am. I make dinner and then we eat. We finish around 7:30. My daughter goes to sleep at 8 p.m. I get ready. I go to the gym like at 9, 9:30, and then um, I take a few hours. I come home. I clean if I have to. I make my protein shake. My husband's already asleep, and yeah, easy as that. That was it. I hope I got to answer some of your assumptions or questions, and I hope you guys got to learn a little bit more about me. And um, yeah, I hope I didn't bore you guys. Thank you so much for staying and watching my video. Um, I really wanna start posting more and I always say I am, but fuck, like I just get so busy, but I'm gonna fight to keep posting and more. And I'm gonna see if my husband wants to make videos with me as well. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video and see you next time.